Hi, welcome to video number one of uh, Introduction to Chu Shogi. In this series of videos, I'll be introducing you to the game of the rather ancient game of Chu Shogi, which is an ancestor of traditional Shogi, which is played on a rather boring 9x9 nine nine board. Chu Shogi is played on a 12x12 board, and um, if you're new to learning Chu Shogi, um, the good news is that there is no drop rule in Chu Shogi, so if you're used to playing chess, um, this should be a very welcome news to you because drops are a very, from what I hear, rather difficult concept for people who have grown up on chess to master. So like all chess games and shogi games, the object is to capture the king. The difference, um, the two major rule differences between Chu Shogi and what we normally associate with chess is that there is a piece called the Drunk Elephant which promotes to a crown prince and when this crown prince is on the board it acts as a second king so both the king and the crown prince must be lost before you have lost the game. Um, fortunately this does not happen often and actually Traditional shogi up until the 14th century also had a drunk elephant which resided in front of the king. Um, but because it happens so unfrequently that the uh, drunk elephant is promoted, they, it was gotten rid of around the 14th century. The other interesting, and this is perhaps the most strategically important difference between chu shogi and other chess games, is this piece, the lion. The lion can move two moves, two king moves in one turn, and it can potentially capture two pieces, and in some cases it can capture a piece without moving onto the square that it's capturing the piece. And this makes for very interesting attacks on the board, which I will cover later. In case you're wondering where I got this Chushogi set, I made it myself, and perhaps later in this series, I will show you how I've done so.